and there's 50 farming off, their ma off of Master Farmers. I can now do the Rogue Den mini games. Uh, I think after Underground underground Passage, I, I can't even remember that. Underground Pass, I was close. After Underground Pass, I think I'm going to actually go do that mini game. Get the uh, full Rogue set real quick. So I'm about to go do Underground Pass, and before I do, I need some good some good food. So I'm going to make some... I'm here making pats of butter. I went to Lumbridge and uh, milked the cow a few times. I'm making pats of butter. I'm going to use these on some potatoes, those potatoes that I cooked earlier. Uh, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some... Uh, I'll make some cheese afterwards and put them on the potatoes and I'll have potatoes with cheese which will heal 16 HP probably the best healing food I can have at uh, with my current stats because I can't enter the warriors guild and I can't fish monkfish or sharks that's probably the best food I could have at this point and there's the last of the cheese needed for the potatoes with cheese and there's the last of the potatoes with cheese by the way, Harmus uses grinder. I thought I'd throw that in there. But I should be good now to do underground pass. No, not yet. Now I'm good. Sure. So I'm doing underground pass and I figured out my path. It's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. On my main account, it's just literally this. So not it's not too too much different, but it's just this. And there is underground pass quest done. You have five quest points, three thousand agility, and three thousand attack XP, and Ibin's blast. I don't get any levels, but I have Ibin's blast. So now, or Ibin's staff. So now I could go do barrows if I wanted, but I don't really have the stats for that. Uh, that quest was actually easier than I remember. I think when I did on my main, I had like far lower agility level, and I. Didn't have, I didn't quite have 50 thieving, so I couldn't do the shortcut, which saved me a little bit of time. So, I, I think what I'm going to do next is either do more quests or go get 63 magic, get a wizard mind bomb to boost into the mages guild so I can buy law runes and finally start farm runs. Or... Or go back to Slayer. So I'm looking at the prerequisite quests for Recipe for Disaster. And I have every single one of them done except for... Desert Treasure, Horror from the Deep, Troll Stronghold, and Temple of Ikov. So I haven't I haven't started Recipe for Disaster yet because I want to knock out all the, the pre-boss stuff out of the way all in one go. So I think what I'm going to do is go do Temple of Ikov... And then, and then finish up doing diaries. So my cousin just called out this DM for me, and here we go. Are you ready? Alright, that should be 58 attack, which will get me to 70 combat, and it'll be the last kill of this Slayer task. I can go finish doing uh, Lumbridge and Drainer Elite, or Elite, hello? I wish. Lumbridge and Drainer Medium. I'm going to grab a new task quick, and then I'm going to finish that, grab my rewards, and continue doing more diaries. Cave slimes, easy. And it should be the last uh, step to get the medium Ardoin diary. Yes. Yes. Thanks, I really appreciate that. There, all medium tasks done, so let's go claim my reward. Completed all medium tasks. Yes. Uh, Wizard Crompty will give you 100 noted pure essence each day. Now that I think I'll actually try to remember to do because the only real effect efficient ways to get pure essence at this stage of the game is kill banshees which it's like 800 an hour or something 
wyverns, which I don't have the slayer level for yet, or mine it, which is like a thousand an hour, but that's like not worth my time. So if I just do this every day, I'll just start building up the essence until I'm ready to runecraft. Get more drop. To use this cloak to now I'll also go this cloak will also help me when I start doing farm runs so that's good and I should get a herbalore level no nope, but I'm close so now I think I'll go do Falador diaries all right and then this should be if I remember how to make a tiara, that should be the easy tasks done. I looked at the medium diary, and I could do most of these, except unlock the crystal chest. I, I guess I'll have to wait until I get a crystal key to start the mediums and the rat pits. Fuck the rat catcher quest. Shit sucks ass. And that should be the easy tasks. Give me my reward. Uh, restore prayer, access a shortcut, lame. And there's 55 herb lore, I can now make super strength potions. So I'm gonna finish these super attacks and then finally get on that. And I hit 1350 total, so. All right, so I finished making the quorum potions unfinished and I realized I don't have limp wart roots. And the best way to get them is farm them, because if I look, I, only, I have 14 seeds, and I planted three, like, last night, but they all died. So, I'm looking through my bank, and it's disgusting. So, what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to grind out 63 magic off of blue dragons, get into the wizard's guild, buy more law runes, finally start doing farm runs, Stop putting it off and clean my f disgusting fucking bank. Alright, so this is coming up on the last blue dragon kill. There it is, 63 magic. Uh, during this last kill, I got a little too close and may have got hit a 19. I didn't think I'd need an anti dragon fire shield safe spotting them, but I guess I did. So I'm just going to grab these last bones and get out of here before I die. So, if we go take a look in the bank, I, uh, I should have, if I can find them, 227 blue dehyde and 180 dragon bones. I will use these bones at the Ectofuntis in a bit, but right now my cousin wants to go do Legends Quest, so I'm going to go do that with him real quick. And there's the Legends quest done. I'm going to train all of my stuff on Herblore. And that's the Legends quest done. I get an Herblore level off of it and four quest points. That's another requirement done for a uh, recipe for disaster. And now I can finally get a Legends cape. I don't remember exactly what the stats are on this, but if we take a look... Uh, plus seven in all defense. Now, what is a skill cape? Plus nine. So this isn't even as good as a skill cape. At least it looks cool. And that's the last of the dragon bones I got from getting sixty-three magic. I got all the way to fifty and almost a half prayer. And now, with fifty prayer. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go stock up on Wizard Mind Bombs, get into the Wizard's Guild, stock up on some law rooms, and set up my first farmer. Uh, I'm finally in the Mage's Guild, and I'm finally able to upgrade my Mage Gear. It used to just consist of a Mage Hat and an Amulet of uh, Magic, but now I did a number on my cash deck, but... I have full mystic. So now I can actually efficiently do ma magic stuff. And law runes are dirt cheap. 
Hell yeah, I can finally start teleporting around the game and not caring if I run out of log rooms. Alright, and there's 645 log rooms. I should, it should be enough log rooms for now. Don't want my cash stack to suffer too much now, do we? And, oh. And now that we have log rooms. Alright, so I'm gonna go do a farm run. And I think with another mind bomb, I'm gonna go do Swan Song, finally. But before I do, I should get some volcanic ash. Now, I haven't mined it before in on my main, so this is gonna be a learning experience. Alright, I just finished my second inventory of volcanic ash, and I think that'll be good for now. And so I just finished my first farm run, and it took longer than I thought, because I had no idea what I was doing. Farm runs on my main are so much easier because I just grab a few things that I can buy off the GE and then go to. But here I just don't even have the level required to make or grow the stuff that I want to. But I was told by the clan chat that I can buy pineapples from charter ships and use those to make super compost. What? What? Stupid fucking kisses. <laughs> And fuck you. Anyway, I got all that ultra, ultra, all that volcanic ash from Fossil Island, but I couldn't use any of the, I couldn't use any of it because I didn't have super compost. And the most efficient way to make super compost are tree roots, which takes a long time and isn't very efficient, or pineapples. And pineapples that I grow myself are hard to come by. So I can just go to the charter ships and buy and buy them. If we take a look here, they have 15 pineapples in stock for only five coins each. So if I buy out a whole stock in a world, which would cost like 75 GP, this right here is 15 buckets of super compost and I can put 25 volcanic ash in it and that's 15 buckets of ultra compost. So I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go fill up the uh, buckets of or the compost bins around Rootscape to fill them with super comp. And now that I have a steady flow of log runes that I can maintain, I thought I would use the oak planks I got from all the eclectic implings to get my construction up a bit. Hopefully, it'll get me to at least 50, and then I can make some portal rooms in my house uh, and see where I can go from. And that's the last of the planks for now. I got from 42 to almost 46. So I think I'm gonna just go spend a few hundred, or a few, spend like 150k and get all the way up to 50 you can strike. All right, and I just finished cutting about 300 oak logs. Go look in the bank. I had like 280 before, and now I have one extra log to get me exactly to 50 construction. Now, since I'm cheap and don't want to get a butler, I'm gonna get to run back and forth between East Varrock Bank and the Sawmill and make these into planks. So, great. And this should be the last of the planks that I need for 50 construction. This took like two and a half hours and I spent like 140k. It's pretty aids, but it'll be worth the investment. And this should be the last oak larder for 50 construction. Now build 24 rooms and portal chambers. Now before I actually uh, buckle down and work on my house, I think I have a hard clue in the bank that I'm gonna go do quick. Yep, I have a hard clue and a master that I forgot about. Let me, let me take a look at this. What do I need for this? Uh, where is this even? Hold on. So it turns out I need to do royal trouble for this clue, so I'll do that eventually. And I can do this. So let's see how long until I drop this because of a of a um, wilderness step.